Oh, see, I ran out of time there, but uh, I think you see what point I'm trying to make. So it looks like there's going to be two video uploads and everything, but here you'll see it. You'll see it. See, what is that? See, it's hidden everywhere. The truth is hidden everywhere. And then, see. But then it's not what we think. It's not what we think. You know, we can... See. What does that look like to you? And that's... It's basically... It's the two American flags, and it's like side by side. One's... Like, essentially, it's like the opposite. There's two opposites. And again, 55. So, you know... And then here, this is the one that I think... You know, that when I saw this, you know, I just... This is the good news right here. I come to bring you good news. That's what I have to show you right now. Because if you look at this again, 11 and 1-1, one, one, double new beginning. If you look at the eagle, the eagle has one eye and then the pyramid. That's two eyes, not one eye. And then you see, if you look at the eagle, what it has in its mouth, out of many, one. You know, in a sense... Basically, you know, there is only one true God, and that's what Christ came to tell us. You know, there is only one true God, and He's a God of love. You know, make love, not war. You know, like you can read many different things into this. You know, but that's two eyes right there. So, not blind anymore. No one's blind anymore. The truth is being revealed, in a sense. And then when you flip it over, this is what I really like. If you look at that. You know, there's basically, if, like, the New World Order, basically the eagle went, Burr! looks like the eagle took off the top of the pyramid. You know, and then it says here, you know, the Nordic Order Securum, basically that's, it's an upside-down pyramid. You know, upside-down pyramid, in a sense, the cup. You know, like, there's a lot of hidden symbolism. You know, the Holy Grail, in a sense. You know, the... And it says, you know, Norvis Order Securum. It's upside down over a cup. New World Order is upside down over the cup and everything. You see? Like, the truth... Like, it's not a conspiracy. This is like a Freudian slip. It's about reconciling who and what we are. In a sense, like, you know, if you believe in that reptilian thing, perhaps it's something that has happened already, or maybe it's, like, if you believe in the timelines, it's something that hasn't happened, and there is a way to prevent that from happening, you see? Because in God, we trust. You see what I'm trying to say here? Maybe, maybe not, and, you know, this is just my perspective. I could be totally wrong, totally totally wrong perhaps but you know I don't know maybe maybe not I don't know but like eh, it's interesting how this works out like that and then in God we trust see we trust God. Or if you go all the way around. And like, what is that? What sign is that? It's a sign of a cross. It's pretty interesting, huh? It's pretty interesting. 5 plus 5, 1. And then 11, double new beginning. But also, like, 5 plus 5, 1. Or also, or you could take it as 5, 2, 3. Trinity, that's the Holy Trinity, and then one, and then two, one, two, one, two, three, three, thirty-three, you see, like, basically, we live in a divine matrix of a sort, because they even say in, like, you see, I have all these different versions of the word, and everything, you know, I've read a lot of it, and, like, you know, specifically, like, basically, one time, like, I just turned to a page, and it said, Basically, you know, I gave it a shot and I wanted to see what page would it turn to this particular little book. And it 
Like first it turned to the book of Luke, but then it flipped to Mark chapter 13 exactly, and you know they talk about oh there will be earthquakes, rumors of wars, famine, like you know look what's going on now, and like you know some of the things like you know he says that's how you'll know the signs and everything you'll know the signs, and then like, you know in Revelation you know like this particular version like you know. The truth is everywhere, like, you know, they say God knows the devil by heart, the, I, I mean, yeah, he does, like, if you believe God knows everything, or whatever you believe, you choose to call it, it's the infinite consciousness is God, the one true God, and, in a sense, Christ was proof of that, and, like, here, at the beginning, well, basically, it talks about a program of divine salvation, and the thing is, a lot of this is a script, and a lie, but the thing is, you know, it's basically, it's all a lot of stuff just thrown out there and everything. And it's basically, you know, it's us, up to us. But you see, because a lot of us, we're seeing the signs, you know, we're aware and we're telling people and everything. And trust me when I say this, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world, but things could change over the next few days, perhaps, maybe the next few months, few years. And, you know, it may not be easy. It may get harder. We never know what's going to happen, you know, like, always keep an open mind, open heart, faith, hope, and love, that's what I believe, you know, always have hope that things are going to work out, and, you know, that's why, like, you know, they talk about, you know, Genesis is a book of the event beginnings, Revelation is a book of consummation, you know, the divine program of redemption brought to fruition, everything you see, so, in a sense, we are in a time of revelations, in a sense, but, you know, like I was saying about, like, those things, like, you know, you see, I'm getting a little bit too, like, religious about that, again, and everything, but, I don't know, it's, see there now, like, it kind of slipped away, what I was trying to say, no, it didn't, it didn't, but it's like, Basically, you got to figure out, you know, what frequency you're going to tune into. Because everything, everything makes sense. If the pineal gland is a stargate and everything, you know, and here, this is the thing. This is the thing, like, and this is what really tripped out, or tripped me out. You know, it's about reconciliation. You know, son of man, son of God, both are one in the same. And this may sound crazy and everything, but... You know, basically, we don't know about the truth about what happened to Christ after he was born and then until the time when he reappeared again, you know, what, and, you know, they said the Spirit of the Lord came down upon him or something, you know, was, or it was him, in a sense, that's what they were saying, but you know how he would talk in parables all the time, like the parable of the prodigal son, something made me think that, what if the parable of the prodigal son, like how, like, what if, like, you know, like, the father forgiving the son and everything, you know, what if, what if he was talking about himself? That's what you gotta think about, you know, what if he was talking about himself, and, like, you know, he came to that realization, that awareness, and that's why the Pharisees, like, you know, they basically assassinated him in the, like, most horrible, like, way possible, but then he was able to, you know, overcome and everything, you know, because you can't kill this infinite consciousness, in a sense, this God, what he came to represent, you know, the one true God, in a sense, you know, it transcends everything, and, like, if you really read all the different religions, the truth is there, it's hidden in the lies, but that's why, you know, the gift of discernment, you gotta try and figure out how to discern what's real, what's good, and what's not, you know, and like, you know how I said, like, there is, like, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of lies, in this book, there's lies in here too, but there is also the truth, that's why discernment, and that's what, you know, if you're, like, in a sense, when you hear the truth, you'll know the truth, you'll know the truth, and everything, and, like, you see, this is interesting, and everything, but then, if you put it in a mirror, what do you see? And, but this is what I wanted to
Because a lot of these things, like you know, they talk about. Like here, for instance, the first angel blew his trumpet, and hail and fire mixed with blood were thrown down on the earth. One third of the earth was set on fire. Like, think about like how we've been having wildfires in the U.S., in Russia, like all over the place. You know, and then, like, you know, like also all the wild weather that's been going on right now. And then the second angel blew his trumpet, and a great mountain of fire was thrown into the sea. You know, the BP oil spill, one third of the, you know, it goes on again of the water. And then, then the third angel blew his trumpet, and a great star fell from the sky like a burning torch. And, you know, they said, you know, the name of the star was bitterness, it says. You know, it made all the water bitter. And then the fourth angel blew his trumpet, and one third of the sun was struck, and one third of the moon, and one third of the stars, and they all became dark. And, you know, a single angel crying loudly as it flew through the air, you know. All this sort of thing. Like, this is a thing, but... You know, it talks about, that's interesting, 811, Greek, wormwood. And the thing is, in Russian, or Ukraine, Chernobyl means wormwood. And, like, right now, Fukushima, that's far worse than wormwood. And it's, you know, you know what's happening with that situation and everything. And, you know, let's see, where is it? Here. You know, wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast, whereas the number of a man, his number is 666. But, however, see, 13, 18, that asterisk, a man, and then the number, it says a man, or of humanity, of humanity. So you see, it's about the great reconciliation, in a sense, between, you know, because this is something very interesting. Like, you know, scrapbook memory, this is something interesting. Until you make peace with who you are, you'll never be content with what you have. Doris Mortman. I don't know. Like, about that. that's interesting. And then here. But yeah, this one, I think I showed it before, but... You know, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake on May 30th, you know, and Spain became the 16th of all that, but, you know, the world of entertainment, best movie, Last Emperor, you know, like, even though, like, you can say, oh, you know, it's all propaganda and everything, but at the same time, some of it is too intricate to be propaganda, it's too intricate, and a thought for the day, Francis Mihihan said, men are at war with one another because each man is at war with himself so you see in a sense what it all comes down to is you know make love not war you know it's like you know dam and then the water and then like what does that look like to you that looks like uh i don't know and you know the feminine you know like supposedly it's persephone and everything well you know turn that sideways you know upside down or something and then like i don't know it's kind of weird you know how like you know like you know this is violence and everything but then you know oh it's like that and then it's kind of interesting you know how that all works out you see you see it? you see it and then like you know how that is it's basically You know, what? This is pretty trippy. I know, like, you all understand what it's saying. Then, you know, or maybe not, like, everyone, like, basically, we'll figure it all out and everything. And it's, like, I don't know, it's really trippy how, like, you know, it's everywhere and everything, and that's what the reconciliation is about, the great reconciliation, you see, because look, that right there to me shows, look, the New World Order's upside down and everything, you know, it's been, because there's not 
one eye, but there's two. Double eleven, one one, or not double eleven, but you know, fifty five. Hmm. That's interesting. But yeah, and then, but yeah, you know, it all kind of, you know, like it breaks down in a sense. So. I don't know, yeah. certain things I don't know, but at the same time, like, you know, and everything, so, like, you know how I say they use mind control and everything, it's because, like, you know, in, like, for my case, you know, I was engaged to be married, but then, because of, like, you know, religion, because this thing, it, this will set us free, but it's also the you know, it could be a weapon of mass destruction in the wrong hands if misinterpreted, you know, and everything. And if we, you know, because, you know, nothing is impossible with God, you know, because the truth is there is some truth to the whole Da Vinci Code theory in a sense, you know. And, you know, it's about reconciling with that, you know, and how, like, essentially they've told lies and everything. Even, you know, that's the one thing that, you know, I disagree like that what I really disagree with about this is almost as if you know by saying that you know he was born of the virgin and then he like you know he was single celibate and everything you know he didn't have a wife you know and all that sort of stuff but you know of everyone they said like you know supposedly some of the you know gospels that weren't included they said oh you know the gospel of Thomas I think it said something like he said oh Christ like, it seemed like he loved Mary more than all of us and everything and Mary Magdalene she was a former prostitute supposedly you know and everything but if you trace the lineage and everything of Christ like you know if you believe and everything and then you go back like you know there was Hagar a prostitute in the line of Christ and everything so you see it's basically you know he came to free us from sin and everything but what they did was they tried to create him turn him into the perfect thing to like you know keep us trapped in it and you see by basically by essentially the whole thing about the virgin birth and how he was single and celibate and everything he didn't have kids and everything they turned him into like this almost unobtainable figure and everything like why do you wonder like you know like the catholic church they all go nuts and everything and you know like you hear about all those scandals and stuff like that you know abuse and everything it's because they you know they're denying their nature they're denying their nature and what I said what I believe the second coming of Christ it's not going to be the appearance of a single figure you know it's not going to be one person no like you know by the will of one all or nothing shall be done it's like imagine if one person can figure it out everyone can figure it out you know what I'm saying you hear what I'm saying and basically what that is is essentially us awakening to the truth of, you know, the one true God, God consciousness, and everything, and it's essentially loving and accepting everyone for the choices they make, just because, you know, they may smoke cigarettes, they may, you know, smoke, like, weed or something, they may also, you know, maybe, like, you know, like, they're not married, but they're engaged to be married, and they're sleeping with their fiancé, and then, you know, that means, uh-oh, they've fallen into, you know, sin, but the truth is, you know, like, marriage was created, created as, like, a business agreement, in a sense, in, like, the 14th or 15th century, you know, I could research that, but in my opinion, the act of lovemaking, that right there, that is the act, that is marriage, in a sense, you're marrying yourself spiritually to that person in some way, so in a sense, like, you know, like, don't be, like, that's why they say do not be promiscuous and all this stuff, you know, like, all that other stuff, and avoid sexual immorality, sexual immorality, like, you know, for some reason, I can't find the word, like, when it says, like, you know, avoid this sin, avoid that sin, they just say, avoid sexual immorality, like, to me, sexual immorality, that must mean rape, or something like that, that's just the way I see it, but, you know, if we really did follow, like, the teachings of Christ, and that is love, you know, love one another, but also, like, you know, there are other laws in place, in a sense, you know, and that doesn't, mean that, you know, like, even though love and forgiveness, that, that doesn't mean that certain, like, I guess, factions or individuals out there, if they do not, like, you know, change their, like, minds, they're gonna, like, you know, find themselves, you know, like, 
you know, things are going to happen in a sense, like, one way or another, but the same thing, the fact that we're all more aware now, that makes me think that, you know, the tide has turned. Remember, that's two eyes right there. And then, you know, it's sideways, it's upside down. So that's a good sign. That's good news in my opinion. That's good news in my opinion. But, you know, what is my motto? Remember, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. You know, I believe in a love, in a God of love. You know, infinite consciousness of love. You know, whatever it is, love. Living one vibrational energy, something like that. <laughs> but it's all, it's interesting, you know. Like, we'll see what we shall see, how things unfold and everything. You know, it's about making peace with everyone. You know, right now we have a chance. You know, we have a chance. You know, maybe there is some truth to what I'm saying. I'm not saying it is, but we'll figure it out, you know. I'll, let, I'll leave you to decide, you know. It's always up to you. You know, that's the thing. It's always up to you. But remember, peace, hope, and love. Be loved.